It looked and smelled like late October. A quarter inch of rain fell in pre-dawn, and fog doused the sun for most of the morning. But then the day turned bright and glorious. Late afternoon promised something special. So I rolled the dice, headed for Turkey Creek, and set up to call a bobcat. Why not? It's like playing the lottery when you call these elusive animals that sometimes sleep up to 20 hours a day. And being cats, they may or may not respond. Daytime movement is not their normal gig, and that's why it's a low-odds deal. But it was a great day to sit in the evening woods, so I set up a ghost blind positioned my electronic collar nearby and waited half an hour for the woods to settle, just like my last 50 bobcat tries that came up empty. The sounds of an injured rabbit rang the woods four times over the next half hour. I kept the volume down to a modest level so as not to overdo it and I sat and watched the empty scene, recalling that my solar watch had forecast very poor wildlife activity for today. It seemed true. Not a bird or a squirrel was moving. But finally, after 30 minutes, I heard the nasal scoldings of a single nuthatch in the canopy overhead. This alarm could mean that a predator was sneaking close by. I turned down the volume and played another soft series of rabbit screams. And then I saw it, a beautiful spotted wild cat looking for the easy meal. It marched right in, walking past the speaker. Not seeing an injured rabbit, it continued across the opening. On the tripod, I followed the animal's movements until it was nearly out of sight. Then I turned on the collar once more. The cat rushed back down the hill to look again, coming within 15 yards of my blind. Then it circled through the brush, moving away. What an outing! I got a two-minute encounter with one of Kansas' least seen animals and all on a day I might not have expected it. But I learned long ago the secret to great wildlife photography is persistence. And today it paid off. The bobcat walked away. At 50 yards I stepped clear of my blind to get a better angle with a second handheld camera. And in a classic pose on a fallen log, it finally slinked away. I was out of the woods before sundown, the end of a delightful experience. It will move into the file of my favorite filming experiences over a 40-year career. I'll never forget it. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors. <laughs>